In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the remote view for DAWA cameras. Doesn't matter which phone you've got. In my case, I'm just using Windows Phone. And um, what you'll do is you'll go into the store, whether you've got an Android phone or you've got an Apple phone, it doesn't make a difference. You'll just go to your respective stores and download the app. The app on the Windows Store is called DMSS. Here it is. And you can see it's DAWA technology. So you will then uh, install the, the app. Right. Now. We will need to go to the settings and we will have to add a device. You need to give your device a name. So let's just call this whatever it is you want to, maybe it's your house or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Now, it's a good idea to set up two. For example, if you want to use the app on your local network through the Wi-Fi, um, you can also just set up with the IP address of the server. So this is the first option, if you're just using it locally. Now, my uh, DAWA um, NVR is sitting on uh, uh, IP address 250. Then you'll need to set up the port. The port you'll get from the network settings in your DAWA um, uh, configuration uh, layout, which you can watch my two videos on how to do that. Then you'll need the username. In my case, it's just admin. And the password, I'm just assuming it's admin. I don't know if I've changed it. And that's it. You say yes. Now we can go back. Right, now you go back to the... Uh, um, camera and you choose which camera you want and uh, we'll see that it says system is opening video and you should see me yes hello there we go so that is the setup for the local network of the DAWA um, camera now you want to do the remote view from through the internet you will then need to go to advanced you will select a new device and you can call it I'm just going to call it school um, DDNS because it's now through the internet and then you'll have to put your uh, address so whatever your address is so in my case I'm going to put my address there then you're going to put your port whatever it was on the uh, configuration of the uh, unit which is in, in this case it's still the same and then you'll put your username and your password right your address if it's a ddns it might be noip.com or you might maybe you're using the dawa provided um, address whatever it is you'll see it'll be um, dot ddns dot com something like that and that's where you're going to put your um, uh, your ddns address so that what will happen is the app will then when it looks for this address, the DDNS uh, provider will point it to your public address on your router. I'm just going to uh, set mine up. Right, now I have set up both my accounts, the local and the remote viewing option. Uh, just going to have a look. You can see I have two options, the local and the remote view. Um, just a note, when you do put the uh, password, the username is the username and password that you use to log into the NVR. Okay, now for the viewing option, you can see that the accounts that you've set up then get listed here. So in this case, I have, uh, I can go to channel one and you should see me. There I am, I'm waving. Now if I uh, now cancel. Uh, now if I go to the uh, DDNS option, you should still see me. It should still work. There we go. Streaming through the DDNS. Uh, now it's through the internet. It's a little bit slower. And there we go. So that is how you set up the DAWA remote view on your uh, cell phone. Alright, thanks for watching.